What if I told you that smoking DMT is like putting on the most advanced VR headset that doesn't exist yet? Your brain becomes the computer, your consciousness becomes the user, and your trip becomes the most immersive virtual world ever created. I researched the effects of DMT on the brain while people are tripping inside VR at Maastricht University. And the more I dig into the neuroscience of it all, the more I realize DMT is psychopharmacological VR. So when you put on a VR headset, the device is essentially hijacking your visual system. It's tricking your brain into believing you're somewhere completely different through stereoscopic vision. Your VR headset shows slightly different images to each eye, just like how your eyes naturally see slightly different angles of the same object. Your brain takes these slightly different images and constructs this sense of depth in three-dimensional space. Then there's head tracking. When you move your head in VR, the images within VR move correspondingly. This creates spatial presence, the illusion that you're actually actually inside this virtual world. And your brain treats this VR experience as real. When I scan the brains of people using VR, the same areas that process actual vision and spatial awareness are lighting up when processing virtualized reality. VR is external sensory replacement. But what if something could generate internal inputs? That's where DMT comes in. Dimethyltryptamine works completely different than VR, but achieves remarkably similar results. Instead of controlling what's going into your eyes, DMT controls what's happening inside your brain. Through complex neuromechanics that we're still trying to understand, DMT essentially makes your visual cortex hallucinate. Almost like your brain starts creating its own movie completely independent of what your eyes are actually seeing. However, unlike VR, while on DMT, the boundary between observer and observe can completely dissolve. You're not visiting another reality, you are that reality. But here's a fascinating parallel. Both VR and DMT reveal that what we call reality is actually just a construction created by our brains. When you see a tree, light radiation hits the retina and gets converted to a chemical signal through the retinal fugal pathway. It goes down the optic nerve to the thalamus and eventually to the visual cortex where it gets interpreted as seeing a tree. But you're never actually seeing the tree. You're seeing your brain's interpretation of electrical signals triggered by photons. In VR, you can see a tree, but with artificial photons. And your brain doesn't care. It's ready to construct a visuospatial world with whatever signals it's receiving, artificial or real. DMT takes it even further by showing that you don't even need external photons at all. Your brain can construct incredibly vivid, detailed, and meaningful experiences using nothing but its own internal neurochemical mechanics. Both DMT and VR reveal that consciousness is fundamentally about information processing and pattern recognition, not about direct contact with some external reality. And if you want to know more about how DMT is like VR, then watch the full episode on YouTube.